Hi everybody! I have an extra video this week because I saw Mockingjay Part 2 and I have to post a review of it today for my mom's magazine so here we go! I am recording an extra video. I look cute, don't I? I had to present a project today. Yeah! Look at this shirt, so cute! And I wanted to look cute, give me more confidence. This is a new shirt that I bought with my friend Summer. We bought the same shirt so we can match, be twins. Anyway, I'm going to talk about Mockingjay Part 2. The first part's going to be spoiler free and then I'm going to say, you know, stop here if you haven't seen it or don't or want to see it and then I will talk all spoilery. Let me first say that the movie disappointed me. Part 1 disappointed me, part 2 disappointed me. Um, I only read the first book and that's because, and it wasn't because I didn't like the story because I obviously like the story if I saw all the movies, but the author's writing style just didn't, um, uh, just wasn't my kind of, you know, wasn't, ugh, stupid hair, freaking frizzing, ugh, um, it just wasn't, uh, my thing, but I wanted to know what happened in the story so I saw the movies. I don't know, sometimes some author's writing styles I just don't like even if I like the story, so my... I'll just watch the movies then to get the story. But anyway, um, and I had heard that from other people that some of the Mockingjay book had been kind of frustrating um, and slow. And the first part was definitely slow. And I really do think that the whole thing could have just been one movie because there was a whole lot of nothing that happened in a lot of both parts. Um, but, you know, that's just my opinion. It's what I thought. Um, it was just really disappointing. Like, I was interested in some of it, but it was just really disappointing. I feel like all the background characters, like Finnick and Annie and everybody else, like, they just weren't focused on enough. And from what I heard, they're, they talk more about them in the books. And I really liked, like, Finnick is like, is like my favorite character besides Hamish. Hamish, number one, always forever. But I just feel like all those characters, they didn't focus on enough. Like, Effie, we barely saw her. In the in you know both Mockingjay parts, Hamish I thought that they could focus on a little bit more. Uh, Finnick obviously they could focus on more. That just disappointed me. And the whole time I was like, Katniss just isn't isn't herself. Anyway, so now it's gonna be spoilery. So stop watching if you haven't seen it or want to see it. You haven't seen it. Um, if you want to see it eventually, I mean. Anyway, um. Katniss didn't act like herself at all through the whole thing. Like, I was just like, okay, because of one boy, you're going to completely change who you are and be great and act just so strange and full of anger. I mean, I get that she was mad at what Snow did to Peeta, but she went overboard in her insanity in this, mo <laughs> in this movie, and it was just so weird. And I totally knew, like, I don't know. It was just, it was really slow. The whole thing was just really slow. I didn't, I didn't like it at all. I didn't, it, I mean, there was parts that I enjoyed, like, you know, and I thought that the ending was cute, even though I really thought, would have preferred her with Gail, because I just thought that she had no chemistry with the guy who played Peeta. Like, maybe she has chemistry with the character in the book, but in the movie she had none. And it, and Gail's, I just, I, it just didn't make any sense, her picking him. It just didn't make sense to me. I mean, don't, I mean, I understand they're Peeta and Katniss shippers, and I've never read the books, so I don't know, and I'm sure their chemistry is better in the books, but in the movies, I felt like they didn't have any chemistry whatsoever, and their relationship felt forced, like, you know, it was forced, ironically, in the beginning, and it still felt forced throughout the whole thing, I just could, didn't believe that she actually loved him, I just couldn't, it was just too, I just didn't, and then also, let me say, Finnick deserved better, he was the, one of the best characters, and just having him die from those things out of nowhere for no reason. And also let's talk about the fact that most of the people in that movie died for no reason because she didn't end up doing what, no matter what, everything would have turned out the same because of that lady wanting to be president and have another Hunger Games. So everything, every, like, she didn't get to have her goal of killing Snow anyway, so everybody died for nothing. And it was just a frustrating movie and I liked the Catching Fire movie so much better and the Hunger Games movie so much better. And both Mockingjay parts are just super disappointing to me. But again, I haven't read the books, so I don't know. I can't have that kind of judgment. But as a person who's only read the first book and never read the books, as just a movie watcher, I didn't like it that much. 
Anyway, this is the extra video. See you on Friday.